Hello, everyone. Very nice to meet you. It's been a pleasure to be here. Um, this is my first time giving this presentation in the UK. So if by any standard I'm not doing it the right way, please give me a feedback at the end. I would love to learn how to do it better. So my name is Amir Benifatemi. I'm uh, with XPRIZE, which I'm going to tell you a few, um, in a few minutes what it's about. And the prize I'm going to be talking about is called the IBM Watson AI XPRIZE. It's a global challenge on artificial intelligence sponsored by IBM Watson, which gives the purse. So let's dive right into it about what XPRIZE is about. So XPRIZE is the world's largest incentivized prize competition provider. And uh, you've probably heard the name before. We organize global competitions ranging from $2 million to $30 million to solve the world's largest problems. Those problems are going back to the moon, solving uh, education issues, cleaning the oceans when it happens, and so forth. So for that, what XPRIZE does is creates highly leveraged incentivized prize. And I'm going to talk about the leverage. And the goal really is to push the limits of what we do, typically by accelerating breakthroughs by organizing a competition whose amount and the resources provided because of that competition will basically incentivize individuals and companies and, 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 and groups to really participate and go for that moonshot or that big challenge. You probably remember the, uh, the Lindbergh flight uh, with the spirit of San Luis. Uh, Express came about 20 years ago, and the inspiration was um, the spirit of San Luis. In 1919, there's a French uh, hotelier that dreamed of flying from um, the Atlantic to Paris, and then he put a $25,000 prize to, to do that flight. And 19 participated and spent about $400,000. And Lindbergh was the one that, uh, Charles Lindbergh, the one that won the prize by, by, uh, by changing, modifying one of the engines of, of a plane and basically winning the prize. The, 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 the learning of that competition was interesting is that for the $25,000 prize, 400000 were spent by nine teams. So you can think about leverage, what leverage means. At the same time, the impact of that prize really launched the whole aviation industry. In just three years, in 1926, only 5,000 people in the whole U.S. were flying on a, fl on a plane. Three years after, 170,000, more than 170,000 people were flying on a plane. There have been an increase of 300% of applications of, of uh, pilot licenses. And one quarter of the whole Americans watched during the first year what Lindbergh did. So the purpose of this example and this, um, this parallel is to show that incentivized prizes are able really to push not only the imagination, but also the inspiration of many people to, to take that challenge on. So Express specializes in two things. One is really to, to focus on innovation in many different industries. Could be genomics, could be space travel, could be water desalination, could be education. Uh, but also uh, provide ways to inspire people to participate. And I gave you one example. We're going to go through a number of different prizes that we run right now to give you a sense of what we're talking about. So right now, XPRIZE is managing a number of active prizes. These are the six active prizes that we're currently operating. Uh, the largest one is Google Lunar XPRIZE, which is a new opportunity for private citizens to bring back a vehicle to the moon and fully privately funded. So not by NASA, not by, the, by, by government agencies, but private citizens, how that would be possible. Today, uh, about 16 teams are taking that challenge on or they're working on, on vehicles that are going to go back to the moon. Um, the Qualcomm Tricorder Tri XPRIZE, which is sponsored by Qualcomm, and as it's each time you're going to see a, a company name, that company name is a sponsor of the prize, meaning they give the purse, they give the, 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 the cash amount to the winner. The Qualcomm Tricorder XPRIZE was inspired by the Star Trek movie where uh, the doctor, McCoy, and, and the team has a device that can capture a number of vitals from your body without touching your body. So the goal here is to have teams develop a small enough device that can capture 15 vitals from your body without touching you. And right now there are seven finalists competing, and they all have achieved already part of the requirement of this prize. Uh, the Shell Ocean Discovery Prize is pretty much creating Google Maps for the oceans. We, don't, we know more about the surface of Mars than we know about our own oceans. So the goal really is to launch robots that go under sea with machine vision and basically can create up to 200 meters deep a full mapping of all the oceans of the Earth. 
the Global Learning X Prize is to cope with uh, education issues. Many people don't have access to schools or education or, or cheap, so the, the goal is really to create a layer of software platform where kids can educate themselves and learn with their peers. And the goal is that the winner will have to manage to demonstrate that in 18 months, any kid in the world can be uh, fully proficient in math, arithmetic, uh, and, and, uh, and it's a language. Could be English, could be Spanish, could be Swahili. Uh, the Carbon X Prize, of course, is also a $20 million uh, prize. It's about sequestering carbon and creating new objects with it, new materials with it. So how can we capture CO2 and create cement? How can we capture CO2 and create a mug? So the goal really is to call out all of the chemists, material scientists, to, uh, to, come to, to, to participate in to improving uh, the capture of CO2. And finally, the IBM AI X Prize is the one we're talking about, is to incentivize teams globally. And this is the prize which is different than every other prize. Every prize that I'm mentioning here has a one specific goal. And that goal is the same for every team. So it's very similar to other challenges that you're going to see on Kaggle and, and, and other type of competitions, but it's a three and a half year long prize. And it's an open challenge. I'm going to explain to you what it is about. So, for, so far, XPRIZE has rewarded $30 million in prizes, and another active $70 million are for grab right now. So let's dive into the IBM AI, IBM Watson AI XPRIZE. So this, this prize was presented at TED 2016, uh, a few months ago announced on stage and uh, sponsored for $5 million by IBM Watson. So the first team will be uh, winner of the cash. I'm going to go through details. So what are you talking about? I have actually a monitor here. It's much easier. You'll have to turn my head. The, the goal of the uh, AI prize is that we are witnessing that AI is, is, is everywhere now. And, and whether we're talking deep learning, machine learning, predictive analytics, classification, anything you would talk about, whatever you're in the camp of Google or Amazon or IBM or anything else, there is so much innovation happening, and AI is going to be touching every part of our life. So how can we incentivize teams to create AI that not only demonstrate how we can collaborate with machines and understand better and cognify our world better, but also push the boundaries of what AI can do so we can learn from this? So really, this is the goal of, of, of AI shaping our world. So the prize is a $5 million global competition open to anyone. And the goal is to develop powerful AI applications and demonstrate that humans and AI can collaborate together and to tackle world grandest challenges. So when we talk about world grandest challenges, it may sound grandiose and very out there. But in fact, any application that basically provides benefits to society is a grand challenge. Grand challenge is a wording that we use in XPRIZE. So the, so the structure of the competition is open. As I was mentioning before, every other competition in the world has one single goal. This one is open challenge, means that every team will come up with their own challenge. It's like a PhD thesis. You announce your thesis, your thesis director will approve it, you, uh, you have milestones, and you have to demonstrate within the next three or four years that you have achieved your research and have some meaningful result. This competition is structured similarly. So teams will work on detecting diabetes, some others will work on material science, some others will work on uh, education, curriculum, automation. So we're going to have a myriad of applications from every country in the world trying to solve problems that AI can improve. So let's talk about a few grand challenges. I'm going to go very fast on that. I, I, I think I can skip on that very quickly. Uh, of course, one of the biggest uh, areas, as I uh, was mentioned by, by, by John before, is healthcare and medication. And, and whether it's automatic drug discovery or uh, cognifying our diagnostic processes or healthcare delivery, all of this on, on, on medication and a medical uh, response. You see that the branding of the prize has words uh, ending of Asian, and A and I are part of the branding everywhere. Exploration, of course, uh, exploration of knowledge, exploration of undersea, exploration of, of universe, of the earth, of material science is part of it. Uh, preservation, our resources, oceans, climate. Every grand challenges or every big topics that you can think of, AI may have an impact on it. So the timeline. The competition is a four-year com uh, competition with four rounds. Right now, we are in the registration process, meaning that teams are applying to, to participate. And this application basically requires 
uh, nominating a team and defining what challenges they're trying to solve. So a team might come up by, by saying, I'm trying to detect, by taking a picture on our phone, the nutrient value of a plate. And I want that to be available offline with single computing, so distributed to the masses. So that could be a challenge. We don't know yet how I'm going to address this, but we're going to talk about some applications of AI, and then this is our timeline. That's the beginning of the process. Uh, once the registration closes, we are partnering with IEEE, IAAAI, ITU, and a number of organizations, and probably many of you in this room, to provide resources to teams. Those resources could be advisory, uh, mentorship and expertise on AI specifically, but also expertise in, in specific domains. If we talk about, example, diabetes, someone has to know about diabetes. Uh, those resources also would include computing resources because obviously you need some computing uh, capabilities, but also data sets. We're incentivizing uh, institutions, cities, governments to drop sample data sets for teams to use and to accelerate their development. Um, once this is done, then teams really are being, getting benefit of all this crowd of experts that we're trying to recruit. Uh, this competition has two wild cards. Knowing that AI is moving so fast and there are so many breakfasts that have not been discovered yet, we had to take into account the, the possibility that new technology will be available in a year or two or three before the competition ends. So we are allowing some wildcard entries, some parallel entrants to the competition in year two and three of the competition. And uh, finally, uh, the few hundred teams that will compete will end up to three finalists that will present on stage at TED 2020. This is pretty much the, uh, the, the, the timeline of the competition. And is represented here. I should have probably brought it up so we can see. I think you can get all these uh, slides uh, on the video. Um, so judging, um, there are going to be annual milestones. Uh, every year, teams have to reach certain milestones to demonstrate their progress. Obviously, if they have a goal that they want to reach an application, they may not be able to do it within the next six months, so they need time to, to build it. Teams will define their own milestones and are going to be judged against that. So teams are themselves defining what threshold they want to hit and what test suites and what evaluation metrics they want to be used against them. Uh, judges will, will basically um, uh, analyze three things, the performance and scalability of AI, the objective impact of the application, because we're talking about grand challenges and how far this can go, and also was AI instrumental in, in developing, because we know that many challenges don't need AI. There are so many problems in the world that can be solved with AI, so we're not trying to say AI will solve everything. This competition about which ones AI can accelerate and fast forward. So who are the teams? Teams can be from First, every country. Right now, we have about 40 countries applying. Uh, I think uh, US is number one, India is number two, I think UK is number three. Uh, but it changes. Uh, some days we have more from Germany, other places. Uh, it could be a research team, it could be an academic, it could be a number of students together. Some professors could be cross uh, labs uh, that are working together on some topics, could be startups. Um, and they're organized. Um, in, in, they have to be organized in some form of a legal entity at one point because they're going to be receiving a cash prize. Uh, we are trying to help teams as much as we can by uh, not only providing and recruiting uh, access to a network of experts, but also resources, as I said before. So why compete? Um, well, all of you are more or less involved in AI or adjacent fields. And you may have ideas about big challenges. So really the goal is to um, benefit from the price exposure, the price resources, all the benefit that the price provides to attempt and, and try hard to, to, to be part of it. If you're not the AI expert, you can identify experts yourself. If you're an AI expert, you can identify domain expert to help you out. Um, the price is a $5 million, which is worth it. And it's a global exposure. Uh, Xprize is a big brand, and we're going to be going to every city and showcasing all the teams and give them the visibility uh, across the board. And it's also an opportunity to compete with the best teams uh, globally. So sponsors, uh, IBM Watson obviously uh, is the cash sponsor, but we are uh, signing up partnership and, 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 and alignment with a number of uh, global uh, organizations to provide us with engineering expertise, domain expertise, data sets, and resources. And this list will go on uh, very fast. So 
as a summary, I think we, we are, in Express, we use this, this term that we can shape our own future, and uh, we believe in this. Uh, so the invitation here is really to start a team. Or if you don't know what to start with, mentor a team, help a team, provide them resources, become a partner. Uh, for more information, you can go to ai.exprise.org. Uh, it's a beautiful challenge, and we're very excited about it. I'm open for any questions, if there are any. Let's thank you first. Thank you. Amir Bani Fatimi.